I'm Jake Robson, CEO of the Intoxicated Drinks Company. We are a startup business looking for £270,000 investment for a 20% stake in our company. Launching this year in Loughborough, but looking to expand across the whole of the Midlands and eventually the UK. I came up with this idea while at university, realising it was often the case that students didn't bring enough to drink with them to parties, such as house parties or then free drinks before a night out. Founded by students for students, the business will revolutionise student life. Specialising in delivering drinks to student parties, we aim to be the cheap, cheapest late night option for everyone's late night needs, working through the night and delivering to your door. Students, being money conscious, don't take enough drinks to them to house parties, fearing it is too much and it will be wasted, but then they don't have enough to last the night and don't want it to end. This is where Intoxicated comes in. We are the late night service after all shops are closed, bringing the party to you. We believe there is a huge gap in the industry for our idea after our extensive market research. In the first year, we will be running the business by ourselves to keep costs down, paying ourselves minimum wage. There will be a charge for delivery, which will be where some of our profit comes from. Even though with small deliveries, if there is a few together, they can be done in one go to reduce our costs. We realise that there may not be a profit in the first year, however feel that this is a realistic business idea with real potential to take off. From our website here, you can see it is very clear, organised and simple to use. With a postcode checker for, um, to check your delivery quote, and a section for quick use drink ordering on the side, and at the top is a search bar for those with more specific tastes. News just in, Intoxicated has taken yet another night for the students of Loughborough. Luckily for you guys at home, I've got the video. Right, okay. Right, I've got King. Oh! Here goes, in it goes. Oh, nice. Hey, come over and drink with us. Come on, man, join pre-drinks. Oh, sorry, mate. Thank you. 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 Hello darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping That was Right, let's pick a card. Here we go. Oh, here he is! Oh, yes! 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 Let's go, boys. Nice, come on, crack it open. <laughs> Shots. Yes, guys. Yes. Shots. Down in one. And... As you can see, another night was saved by Intoxicated. Don't ask my opinion though. Our happy customers! Woo! We've been intoxicated. Hey, mate. Yeah. I'm Philip Burrows, and I'm the market analyst at Intoxicated. Here at Intoxicated, we fully believe in our idea, but a business would not be a business without customers. So we ran some market research to see if there was a demand for our services, and my job in these next few minutes is to show you there is. We started by asking people how likely they would be in using our services, and after taking into account some slight variation due to some potential error bounds in our calculations, in the best case scenario, we could be expecting a massive 69% of people being likely to, or better than likely, to use our services. This includes students and non-students in the Loughborough area, so that is a large amount of people showing interest in our business. Once it was confirmed that there was an interest, or in our opinion, a need for our business, we carried on analysing the results. Our main target is students, students who do not want to carry heavy amounts of drink across town. We also expect to get some additional customers from non-students hosting their own social gatherings. And of course, as seen in our advert, we expect to gain more additional customers from people running out of alcohol at the key moment parties. We decided to see if people do actually take less alcohol than they want to parties, as again, Transporting drinks from place to place can be an inconvenience. 
After analysing our results and taking into account potential errors again, it can be seen that only a staggering 9% of people never take less alcohol than they wanted to. 9%. This leaves a massive 91% of people that do not consistently take the amount of drink they wanted to. This could then lead to shortages and additional customers needing our services for those last minute drinks. These stats again were best case scenario, but it's clear to see there is a want and a need for our business. In case I have not done enough to persuade you quite yet, I'm going to hand you over to our finance analyst, whose findings will only increase your trust in investing in Intoxicated. Hello, my name is Tom, and I'm a financial analyst for Intoxicated. In terms of advertising, in the first two years, we will distribute 10,000 leaflets, and in the, in the third year, we will distribute 15,000 leaflets. Then from advertising and market research, I was able to determine the number of yearly orders and the number of daily orders, as well as the demand for different drinks, as shown in the two tables. Accompanying these figures with the average cost price and the average selling price of categorised drinks, I was able to work out the annual sale of products each year. Then from researching cost of delivery, I was able to predict average cost of total miles per operating day and the market research gave me a figure for sales of delivery. Taking into account startup costs and monthly costs for year one gave the following figures in the table as seen. In, in the initial figure in January is considerably large um, as this includes startup costs such as website production, van costs, office equipment, etc. Um, in comparison, the monthly costs are considerably lower um, as this includes wages, rent, utilities and insurance. As you can see in the first year, intoxicated make a loss, which is the norm for many businesses. Um, intoxicated does break even at the beginning of the second year with a profit of over £3,900. And in the third year, intoxicated turn over £20,000 which is a fourfold on the previous year. My name is Philip Pennington and I am the data analysis for Intoxicated. We knew our target audience was going to be students. First thing I did was gather information about the university populations inside the Midlands area. From a total of 18 universities, I grouped them into their corresponding cities. Because Loughborough had the highest percentage of students out of the total city population, we decided to set up base here. The purpose of cluster analysis is to help detect groups within our data. Our CEO wanted to find out which cities were suitable to branch out into in the coming future. The variables are used to cluster my data when working out where to expand were the total number of students, the distance from Luftwa, and the number of universities within the city. This is an example of complete linkage cluster analysis. The similarity of two clusters is the similarity of their most dissimilar members. The entire structure of the clustering can influence merge decisions. Here we see Nottingham, Leicester and Derby are the most reasonable cities to expand our business upon in relevance to the three variables used. In addition to the population clusters, they also assessed the alcohol data. If the problem ever arose where we ran out of a particular drink, we could easily recommend an alternative in its place, which would be the most similar product. In order to gain an insight to the most similar products, I performed cluster analysis on this data also and found similarities between the different alcohol drinks using the variables of calories, alcohol percentage, alcohol units and selling price. Our team are very passionate for business success. We feel that the business has great potential and is a solid investment for any willing backer. We will monopolise on the student party industry while also making a profit from selling to non-students. From our market research, we have seen that there is high demand for our business. The finances speak for themselves, showing a profit of £20,000 in the third year. And even though we are starting small, we are aiming to expand across the rest of the Midlands and eventually the UK. We hope you have enjoyed your pr our presentation and our advert, and we hope for your investment.